Puerto Rico is a hot spot for music lovers, thanks to its diverse musical and dance traditions. An excellent place to sample five important aspects in one night is at the Lelo Lai Festival, a weekly performance sponsored by the Puerto Rico Tourism Company. Every Tuesday night, the Guaymanique Dance Company stages a show at the Castillo San Cristobal, a colonial-era fortress that dates to 1783. Host Juan Ortiz shared some of his expertise. I've been dancing for 10 years now, since I was 12, and I've been to 56 cities in 15 countries dancing with the group. The show begins with Jibaro dance and music from the mountains of central Puerto Rico. This colorful musical style is still very popular on the island. The Spanish heritage dances are kind of difficult because we do a step which we are not used to do like when we go to other kinds of dances um, outside. And it is like one, two, three, one, two, three. You have to like um, push your body up with when you go to the right, you push it with the um, left left arm um, leg, and then when you go to the left, with the right leg. The dance performance is backed by a talented musical group that plays typical Puerto Rican instruments, including a cuatro, the guitar-like instrument at the left, the guiro, a hollowed-out gourd being played on the right, as well as maracas and the conga drum. And speaking of drums, one of the most striking music and dance traditions in Puerto Rico is bomba. In the 16th century, African slaves arrived in Puerto Rico to work in the sugarcane fields, and a new musical genre called bomba was born. Bomba requires a finely tuned communication between both drummers and dancers. Traditionally, only drums and maracas were used in the musical style, and melodies are sung in a dialogue with the percussion. Female dancers raise their dresses in the style of ladies on a plantation. Salsa music and dancing is not strictly Puerto Rican, but it is nevertheless an important and popular more recent addition to the island's music scene, and it's included in the show. The intricate dance steps have roots in both European and African dance. Often paired with bomba is a style of music and dance called plena. Developed in the city of Ponce, it is a fusion of Spanish and African rhythms created by centuries of interaction and mixing of two groups. Of the traditional dances, I think plena is one of the most um, difficult because the steps that we do are some like salsa steps. So we have to learn first some um, some kind of these dances before doing it before doing it on a show. Juan explains that plena is considered to be something like a musical newspaper because each song tells a story and relates information or news. At the end of the show, there's even a chance for a few lucky members of the audience to join in. Lelo Lai Festival is an excellent introduction to the richness of Puerto Rican music and dance. I'm Mark Chestnut. For more information about travel to Puerto Rico, visit latinflyerblog.com and latinflyer.com.